Job, at the very beginning of the revelation of God in his word, wrote these beautiful sentiments in Job chapter 9 and verse 10. He does great things past finding out. Yes, wonders without number. Some years ago now, we gathered together for a gospel effort in Little Rock, Arkansas. And we had constant opposition from the authorities. Uh, we were seeking to behave ourselves, but everyone from the manager of the hotel, where a hundred of us were staying, who called us into the office and said, I don't want you to talk to any of the other people here in this hotel about Jesus. And I said, I'd be surprised if any manager of any Holiday Inn anywhere in the world has ever told paying customers what they can and can't talk about. We had the police called on us, security guards. We were warned off at the shopping mall. We were told at the university that we couldn't walk beside people or stand in front of people or hand out free water bottles. They actually wrote an injunction against the couple who had moved there that if they had a Bible study in their home, they would arrest them. And uh, so much so that the governor at that time, who was a believer, had one of his people come and meet with us and apologize for the way we were being treated. But the interesting thing was that every time they made a move to neutralize us, it turned out for the better. And one of those occasions, we had arranged to have a pavilion down near the waterfront where we had a noontime hymn sing and testimony time. And finally, some of the local businesses complained and said we were making too much noise and so they kicked us out of that area and replaced us with a rock band as if that would be an improvement. Well one of the store owners on the next street over on in a pedestrian mall he offered the use of his store we were able to plug in and set up our microphone there and we had our noontime open-air meeting there instead. As we were preaching the gospel, a fine young man came up and stood and listened for some time, and then in halting English said to the person standing beside him, If what I hear I understand, this is the reason I came to Little Rock. He was uh, Spanish-speaking, and so he was led over to one of the folks that spoke Spanish and began to share the gospel with him. And he said, I understand this. This is the message I've been looking for. He and his brother had come all the way from Uruguay in the southern part of South America to Little Rock that week for a Taekwondo convention. His brother was a participant and he had come along with his brother but he said, the reason I came here was to hear this message. And that dear man was gloriously saved. We saw time after time how God rearranged the circumstances and made things better. We actually had the custodian of the high school sent in to spy on us in our evening meetings. And a few weeks later discovered the dear man had got saved while he was listening to the gospel. And so very often we say with Joseph, you meant it for evil, but God meant it for good, that when people seek to oppose the Lord, the Lord finds a way of turning it to good. And I think this is so important for us to keep on the front of our brains. We're going to have opposition, but you'll notice that when Paul talks about this, he says, that the opposition that people send against us is actually the means very often by which God opens a door to the gospel. So the scripture says, a great door and effectual was open to us and there are many adversaries. He doesn't say but, it's not as if these are contrasting things. He's saying this goes with the territory. If nothing's happening spiritually, the devil will let us alone. But when we begin to make purchase, when we begin to make contact, that's when the devil is incensed. But when he reacts, 
He so often overreacts, he drives people into the arms of Jesus. And so don't be discouraged, Christian. When you see opposition, say, Lord, I want you to turn this for your glory and turn this for our good. And you'll find out exactly what Job said. God's ways are past finding out. We can never calculate how God is going to take the things that seem to be negative and turn them to positive. But when we stand at the cross and see the worst thing that ever happened turned into the best thing that ever happened, we stand back with amazement and say, God knows how to do it. Have confidence in God as you go forward in the gospel and realize that God is always the winner.